Maya and Celia. Celia and Nom Maya from Germany at this moment. Celia, Celia, they are Franzosen from France. He's been around at all for a long time. Celia, 29 years old now, a European champion. Maya, 25 years old, a former champion at kickboxing. Celia, the taller of the two men in the blue, Maya in the yellow. Karen's Kessler Myers from Augsburg fights out of the Pitbull gym there. Comes over here, they'll be closing it down. Meyer is the Meyer tries the spinning kick. Trainer, kickbox trainer. trainer. I'm sorry. So it's all kickbox. I am married it for a few more years. Er hat gegen die Deutsche Qualität verloren, ist also, wenn man so will, der deutsche Vizemeister, allerdings auch der Ex-Meister. Funny low kick from the French champion. Zwölf Kämpfe, die er gewonnen hat und einen, den er verloren hat bisher, eben gesagt, der Kampf gegen die Deutsche Frenchman showing his experience there, pinned in a corner, but counter-punched, counter-attacked, and got himself out of trouble. Ivan. He's boxing a sound Ivan. defensive fight Ivan. here. Celia just getting told off there for holding, I think. A short contest like this, two rounds of two minutes. I'm not sure the judges are looking at defensive work. That's the main criteria for judging. And yes, they're all by master in full contact. And the first round then. Sein Weltmeister, sein Ziel ist nebenbei gesagt, als Weltmeister zu werden. Celia, 29 years old, 46 fights, and he's won 42 of them. Er hat zum letzten Mal vor etwa sechs Wochen in Marseille gekämpft. Er hat insgesamt 46 Kämpfe absolviert. Er hat seine Erfahrung, wie man sieht, nur 13 Contests. Er hat auf der rechten Seite der Decision 12 Mal so as you might have gathered from those statistics, neither of these two men have tested themselves against too many fighters from Thailand. They're good solid competitors at the European level, but uh, neither of them really look capable of making that step up in class. Second and final round then, Chalia launches an offensive, all those kicks taken on the gloves by the German. They won't score. That one will. Chalia's low kick. He's got quite a few of those in in this contest. Meyer on the offensive. Meyer kommt nicht richtig an seinen Mann ran. Shelly is boxing a smart fight here, but uh, in the weich time out, ein wenig Shelly is just uh, for Celia. Caught one where it hurts most. At, uh, in there in Thai rules, uh, even in Thai rules, rules, full contact. Meyer acknowledges his foul blow. Well, that's brought the contest to life. Again, experience perhaps. More of a factor here, that was a conclusion. Meyer felt that one. Australia not following up his advantage. He found us, uh, Franzos. Perhaps he feels he's done enough to get the win. Australia's <laughs> 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 
bit of swinging and missing there. Another low kick comes in. He's certainly the superior technician, the Frenchman. That was a good one. Straight away, third time through. Myers head back. Got Myers wades through. It's the end of the contest. Well, it was certainly a busy contest, especially in that second round. Again, it was another one of those interesting youth v experience battles. This man, Chaley, had the experience and it showed. But he was a little bit defensive in that opening session. I wonder if that's going to count against him. Let's review some of the action now. Well, fine, uh, the There's the shot that shouldn't have been. My earnings and you can see there the German track. acknowledging it straight away. Using there we see the one that nearly took his head off the right hand. But took, snapped Meyer's head back. But uh, to his credit, he fought on. And let's see which one of these two men has been given a decision. And Australia really had to get it. It's far superior in the second round. His authority was certainly starting to tell. And had it been over five three minute rounds, he certainly would have won convincingly. So, Ivan Australia from France opens his account with two points. Weiter geht's mit the uh, fight four and the cheers you hear are for Kenneth Quack, Quack who is going up against uh, Costa the man Pastelitis. that they're shouting into the ring now. It's that other Greek Hammer. Pastelitis. Yeah. Well, a local man. Costa Pastelitis had a now comes from the village of Bruxal. Very, uh, very popular figure around here. Side. Padalitis has been a European champion in his time. Originally from Greece, now fights out of the Bulldog Gym in Herrienberg. Have his work cut out against Kenneth Clark from Amsterdam. Georgis also has held European Georgis and Costa Palaitis. Palaitis definitely the local hero here, as you can hear. Getting quite, quite an ovation, but he's Stuttgart giving away a good four or five inches in terms of height. Although not an awful lot between the two of them in terms of weight. And they're both 26 years old. Kenneth Plak. Plak certainly looks at the part. How often have we seen guys who look good stuff? Padalitis has certainly started at a fast pace here. One of the best kickbox shown in Europe. Clark lands a little two-punch combination there. Makes Padalitis think. Good inside kick there from the Greek. The Veranstaltung hat nebenbei gesagt, am 11. Mai in Sindelfing stattgefunden. Couldn't see why that was necessary at all. So, uh, the referee certainly keen to make his presence in the competition known. I suppose it's just as well we'd be criticising if we'd be criticising him if he let them get away with anything. But he does seem to be just a little bit picky. Good shots there from Clark. Palolitis is. Uh, Taking a bit of a beating here in this opening session. And it's Carroll, he's turned away, he's turned his back. I think this could be the end of the contest. Not sure what's happened there. It's certainly got a blow around the left eye. I think that's uh, some damage to the left eye. He's getting a standing eight count. The way he turned away there, I thought he packed it in. Clark certainly, uh, as we Clark can see there, the left eye is certainly uh, looking very damaged, and I think he may yeah, be calling Clark it a day, the Greek. Let's just take another look, if we can, at what happened. Just getting warned for the use of the elbow there. But then, as we see, Clark coming straight back and landing to that eye. And that is the end of it. Adelitis has been forced to retire. Clark is the winner. Not a popular decision here. You can hear there's plenty of booze 
Ausgabe. Und uh, Adelitis. Costa, der Hammer ist der große Fehler mit seiner eigenen Leistung. Aber eye injury does not look good. So, disappointment then for the local hero. That was good luck by way of Reese Padalitis. Buster Padalitis. Number here. He needs to begin. And now, two men that we've seen in action. Under the worst three here. Ross Marlin, the Dutchman, and this man, Peris Dennis. The Greek. Ross Marlin, Ars Absada. They're both losers as well in their first contest. Ein starker Mann, Georgios Peristeris. Very important. The loser knows he's out of the competition. He's out of the competition. Well, I think that was a slip. I'm not quite sure what all the fuss is about. Was Marlin landing a kick? Lost his balance. Peristeris, though, looking to capitalise on any advantage he can get from the situation. Well, he's going to be in the middle of the game, and he's not going to be able to do it. Good counter punching from the Greek there. Sieg oder Niederlagen sich während des Turniers ergeben. That was more than Russia. He kept himself out of range. Very smart, very sensible. Counter punch with good effect. Die Ergebnisse dieses Turniers in ihren Kampfrekord angehen zu lassen. Es handelt sich schließlich hier um, wenn man so will, sehr unkonventionelle Kämpfe. The youngsters. That's a good right hand from Peris Deris, 21 years old. Two years older than his rival. 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 Two years older Die Seite scheint sehr lose zu sein, weil sie immer wieder als Boxer verhalten an den Seiten und das kann wohl gar nicht mehr sein. Das wird noch länger gehen. Das Marlin ist bereits hier in diesem Spiel in diesem Spiel. Dann wieder ein Kick, der durchkam, der zählt. Vor allem noch was mal eben. Er sieht, wie er bereit ist, er ist weit offen zu diesem Rechtenkanzler. Mit den Fäusten kann er was mal eben hier... Everything missing there. Zer, 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 zer. Harris, Harris slips. Was Marlin. Trouble out. Four or five shots. All of them missed. Yes, I thought I heard the gong as well. But obviously the two combatants didn't. As we take a look at the stats of Harris, Harris. And those were the stats going into the contest. Of course, he lost his opening fight against Norman Marker, Rosmarlin. Also has a defeat against his name. Make that five defeats now for the young Dutchman. And he's on his way to another one here. Another round like that. And he can more or less kiss this contest goodbye. There you see a wild stuff from the Dutchman. Four shots, all of them missed. In the end, Peristeris slipped. Peristeris on the right side. But uh, he's doing a bit of a favour because it managed to keep him out of the way of this man, Ross Marlin. And he has to have something of a tactical rethink here, the Dutchman. Because whatever it was he was trying to do in that opening session did not work. Peristeris is aggressive, but he's also shrewd. He managed to keep out of the way, out of the way of a lot of trouble. Second round then, scheduled for two, of course. Starting off, where he left off with those punishing right hands. And this one really threatening to catch fire here. We don't come out here as referees in the way again. It kicks here, comes. What do you know when the kicks come as? Well, there's a little bit of 
cooperation in Rasmalin's work. Boris Doris, I think, can sense that he's on his way to his first two points of this tournament. And he needs them. And I think there's a point well, being fine. deducted. Yes, it's Boris Doris. Help his cause. A slip. Everybody inside the ring perfectly aware of it, although some of Paris Terrace's fans would have wished it was a knockdown. Hardly landed a decent punch, the Dutchman. Some of his kicking's not been too bad. His fist work has been very, very crude. But amateurish indeed. Low kick there from the Greek throwing his man to the ground. Usually there are no chance of the chance of the design is to the was money to the league. And the other one, I say, you look around, but you don't see what is there. If you turn the iron, you can see that. It's the end of the contest. Well, the crowd certainly think this man's done enough to win it, Peris Terris. Gorgias Peris Terris. He lost his opener against the vastly more experienced Nolan Marker. But uh, coming up against a man of similar experience. Yes, he well, I think he did pretty well. Marine. Certainly a very punishing hitter on the counterpunch. As we see early action from that second round. And I'm with him first. Ross Marlin really lunging forward and getting punished for it. No and, doubt on my card uh, at all that uh, Gorgios Peristeris has opened uh, his uh, winning uh, account uh, here tonight. Uh, and I think that will more or less be the end of William uh, Rosmarlin, uh, the Dutchman. Uh, but I could be wrong. We'll have to wait and see what the judges were looking at. And, uh, as we wait the decision, but I think, I think it's curtains for that fella. <laughs> Steris a winner. Judges, strange decisions have been made, but Paris Terris looks good value for that victory. Welcome back to Sydney Finland for our next boxing round robin tournament. Edwin Thompson gained class non Mahard Swansea's that cost a half a the Greek who we saw earlier. That eye injury will not be taking any further part in the tournament, so that will uh, cause a bit of a reshuffle. But this, I think, could be the Adrian best fight Thompson of the players. We just saw Klaus Nonnenmacher, he's up against Adrian Thompson, a man from Manchester. Both of them winners and good winners in their opening session. And for me, of the eight men, these were the best two. This could be a preview of the final. Thank you, Billy Gooders. Wait and see. Both very experienced, both know what it takes to win. Both respecters of each other's ability as well. Yeah, TFDR, half of man of England, half the Elegant Technica, half of Deutschland. The gefahr für nun machen, wie steht da ein, von Thompson voll erwischt zu werden. Für Thompson liegt das Risiko in der Kürze des Kampfes und in der Schnelligkeit der Beinamer von Nunmacher, den Kicks. Mit denen er ihn auf Distanz halten kann. Über eine längere Strecke, über eine längere Distanz wäre es äh, Thomas mit Sicherheit leichter möglich, an Nonmacher heranzukommen und ihn Wirkungstreffer, ihn Wirkungstreffer zu verpassen. von Thompson hier nicht nachzusetzen. Defensive Arbeit von Nonmacher. Really, they're cancelling each other out at the moment. It's interesting, this little phase of Amzal, because it's not pretty frightening stuff, as you'd expect from two to two minute rounds. Mehr drin hatte als nur die eine Phase, die auch für lange Zeit ist. Und dann die Thompson. Thompson now fighting back. Showed a lot of poise and composure in fighting his way out of that corner, and he's got the early initiative here, no question about it. That low kick did take Thompson's feet under him. 
Thompson is going to have to watch his opponent's low kicking ability. There's a lot of power in those legs. round not a lot in it oh, and Marco may have just done enough especially with that low kick <laughs> see the punches there as we review some of the action a couple of good shots but uh, Thompson got out of the way before too much damage was done but uh, not the best round that this man has ever fought in his career he knows it as well so he has got to come out fired up for this second round if he's going to get anything out of this contest he has to get his man he has to try to get his man to get his man to get on our cuffed on a marker a deceptively tricky and awkward and skilled Thai boxer he doesn't look the part particularly when he comes out but uh, tactically he's very sound and he appears to be very good at uh, negating what the other guy is throwing at you which is what martial arts is all about soldat ein wehrersatzdienst leistet also eben nicht als soldat Man kann also so what can durchaus nicht Brian Krieglich, Manchester Adrian nicht Thompson do in this second and final round against a man from Karlsruhe in Germany, Klaus Nollenbacher. Can we just find out the second round just about to get underway? The second round in this very important fight for the group one. Nollenbacher in the black. Thompson needs to assert himself early. Had a good chance of winning this one. Good inside combination there from Donald Marker. Sporting of them. That could have been very nasty indeed. It really was a ferocious assault from the Manchester man. That's another good low punch, low kick going in. And he's a wonderful man, isn't he? Man, he's certainly getting his low kick working here in this second round. And he stepped up the pace, and Nonamaka not happy about it. Him holding there, getting with a rest bite. My goodness, he's all right. Tumbling out of the ropes there, anything could have happened. And these low kicks of Thompson now are having an effect. Those low inside kicks. Well, they wreak havoc. They wreak havoc on your balance. Thompson rushing in. Donald Marker saw him coming, and it was just a little tap, really, that put him over. Well, Thompson, very much the aggressor here. How the fuses from Thompson? Zetsi gets Lanzembo. Thompson goes down again, but it was more a tangle of limbs. No question in my mind at all that these two are yeah, heads and shoulders above the rest of the fighters we've seen with the possible exception of the Frenchman, Chelia. That's the final contest. Thompson thinks he's won. I'm not sure. I'm not at all convinced. I would not have put any money on this one at all. Good luck, Marcus. He certainly did enough to finish that first round, but Thompson, though, very, very aggressive. Certainly landed the more telling shots in that second round, although he didn't get caught out once or twice as well. Let's just review some of the action now. And here's the nasty moment where oh yeah, that's just, uh, Donald Macca yeah. just loses his balance going for the high uh, kick. Uh, and, uh, Thompson's yeah, most embarrassing moment. Adrian Thompson off the ring board. Left himself completely that's exposed and Donald Macca just pushed him over almost disdainfully. Let's see who's got this one. And it will be close. And it is it's very close. It's a draw. I think that's a better result. Perhaps did enough to edge in, and uh, hear some abuse from the crowd. We are now 
I have a feeling those two are going to be meeting here. That's right, you have Gareth Clark from Amsterdam in the ring. And Norman Meyer, his opponent. So on we go with the round robin tournament. And it's a return appearance for Kenneth Plark, who had that fairly easy win against Costa Pandelitis in the first fight. When the kicking ability of this Dutchman opened up a cut to the side of the left eye of his opponent. And he's going up against Norman Meyer. Meyer. Norman Meyer from Augsburg. Who's brave and strong and tough. But uh, as Ivan Chalia demonstrated in the first round, the first round the in their first fight, rather, he's a little bit naive tactically. Was Marlin, he was cool, kind of flat, naive, not to his face anyway. Deutlich größere der beiden, das gleiche Problem für Meyer wie schon. A substantial height and reach advantage. See the other thing by the Dutchman here. Gleichen Art und Weise Kenneth Plark ist noch sehr viel größer als Celia. Die Reichweitenvorteile von Plark sind sehr, sehr viel größer als die, die Celia schon hatte. Sehr vorsichtig von Plark hier. For all this height and reach advantage. Kenneth Plark ist just four Die gute Kickbox-Schule. That's it, Alice. Well, it's a very different Norman Meyer we're seeing in this fight. He rushed in and was punished for it in his opener against Chelia. I don't think he quite knows how to get through this rangy Dutchman. And again, the ref. Stepping in. Well, I think Meyer is a little bit bemused by this. Anywhere near Black at the moment. Meyer must on him, man must in arbeiten. Let's get Kenneth Black in the corner. Picking him off, not in top gear at all by any means. Just building up the points. This is looking very routine for Kenneth Black so far here in this opening session. Just a little bit weary there. He didn't land a worthwhile kick or punch. And Clark, he's well, that was just another is night in the office for him. He walks nonchalantly back to his corner. Isn't he like a total control of the fight? Well, I was feeling that must be for him. But as I say, he didn't bother stepping up into top gear at all. And if he did, perhaps this man might be in a little bit of trouble. But uh, if he doesn't work out a way of combating this guy's reach advantage, Zur Verfügung, he's going to be on his way out of this tournament. Kicks Clark looking very composed. A man totally in control of the situation. Barely working up a sweat. After a very, very comfortable opening round for him. Now then, what has Meyer got? Meyer weiß natürlich, was von ihm erwartet wird, was verlangt wird und was er tun sollte. This is really where you need the help of some experienced cornerman. Because Meyer certainly didn't seem to have any idea at all of what to do to combat this man's style. Let's see if this cornerman has helped him out at all. He's a big offensive early on here. Meyer on the receiving end again. Wieder eine schöne Gerade. Sehr souverän. Der Mann 
a low one. It was uh, around the solar plexus area. I thought he'd come down from a low blow. The referee thought otherwise. Maya gets a standing eight count, and if this fight wasn't one-sided enough already, there's certainly no doubt at all of in the judges' minds. Now I wouldn't have thought about the destination of the two points. And Norman Maya go away and think about what he's got to do to improve his station. He really is being ruthlessly exposed here. That's all right out there, but he's going to need a lot more than that. Wenn der Kampf länger dauern würde, könnte es sein, dass Meyer die Antwort findet. Er scheint in dieser Runde etwas besser im Bilde zu sein. Shots again for Clark. Trotz des etwas verheerenden Anfangs der Runde. Als Kenneth Clark ihn wirklich voll eindeckte. Uppercut coming in there from Clark. He's really scoring points wherever he wants to score them now, the Dutchman. Meyer is starting to feel the effects. Right hand right on the bell. He's in his best shots after the bell. Well, I think his frustration spilling out there and Clark was not happy with it whatsoever. And to intensive I think Meyer went to apologize. No question, I think that he heard the bell there. Landed his best punches the, uh, afterwards, but uh, they're all pals again anyway. Which is good to see. Let's just review some of the action there. Really, Pluck in total control. The only time Austin control was at the end of the fight. Went right on the bell. Pluck uh, received the only decent punch that Meyer managed to land. And then Meyer thought, right, I'll get in a couple more. There you can see it was very low. Very low indeed. But, uh, Referee decided it was legal and administered a standing eight count. Not a tricky one for the officials, this one, I don't think. Kenneth Plark comfortably ahead on my car. We'll have to wait and see what the officials have made of it. We wait on the official results. Kenneth Plark. He's won Aber here. He can start planning for the semi-final section. Meyer is going to be participating at that level, though, somehow. Meyer still getting his gloves untaped as we ja, wait for the official verdict. Clark on the right. Aber Should have won it, but as I say, you never know. Have to wait and see. Kenneth Clark, the winner. Referee barely bothered to raise his arm. In fact, it was what you might call a full body collision. Clark in total control throughout the fight. Meyer really exposed as a limited novice. So Clark is now starting to think about the semi-finals. Welcome back to Sindelfinger. Yeah, this one could be a mismatch. It's the third appearance of William Rosmarlin, beaten pretty comfortably in his first two attempts. And he's going up against Klaus Donnenbach, who's looked very accomplished in his two fights with a win and a draw. And uh, should have too much to fear from this young man. Experience over the next four minutes for him as well. Ich war eigentlich interessiert zu sehen, wer zwischen den beiden hier die besseren Kicks landen kann. Aber oh ja, das war der erste. Das war der Kick hier. Anything that's been really the feature of his performance in all his contests so far. He has got a very mobile guy. His reflexes are not too good. Very good technique. But you found courage. We don't know that he has a lot of force. A punch bag. Er kämpft, statt mit dem Ball. Das ist ein Wittering-Low-Kick. Von der 
German. That's very close. Swing your shake. Good doing there for the Dutchman. Due to those timing. All eight fighters well, we didn't see too much of Costa Padalitis, so I can't really perhaps uh, make a judgment on him, but uh, he looks to be the weakest of the eight of them, certainly the seven that have carried on. He's very, very limited indeed. And this is a tough old game, I wonder what future there is in it for him. Marker though, shrewd, smart. Von angesichts der Länge der Auseinandersetzung, die hier insgesamt und der Auseinandersetzung, die insgesamt zu bestehen hat, so far, ist dies möglicherweise both men. die das klügere Vorgehen. Well, they should be in the semifinals, although uh, Thompson has a tricky little look coming up against uh, Georgi Peristeris. Peristeris really progressed as they go into round two here. That'll be the next fight up after this exhibition match here. Which is what it's become now. Non and Marker really a chance to experiment. Well, his timing for the Not ganz im Sinne des Fernsehens war, denn dadurch sind alle hier der Randszenen nicht ganz so gut beleuchtet, wie sie es hätten sein können. Aber die Techniker haben dann auf Anweisung der Solos die Beleuchtung immer wieder angeschaltet. Da gab es zwei, drei Mal Missverständnisse. Well, not a mark with the kick. And he followed up with the shot to the head. Uh, and that one landed instead. Einzig allein entscheiden war, was er für richtig hält. Nicht a long night for William Ross Marley. Was man insgesamt bei dieser Veranstaltung erwarten wollte. Well, the market's gone down a gear in this second round, obviously, more than enough to win and realise he had the measure of his man in the opening session and why waste your energy when you've got tougher opponents to meet in the semi-final and maybe even the final as well. I think there's Adrian Thompson is through, Kenneth Plack is almost certainly going to be there. Wiederum Ross Marlin etwas übereifrig. Wirkt oft ungeschickt. Schöner Kick. Nun nachher. Er ist hier sagt, ein hervorragender Techniker. Er hat einen Fuß zu den Füßen für seine Pein. Das war etwas. Ross Marlin ist in der Hand. Ross Marlin ist neun Hände mit ihm auf dem Deck. Slip. He was never really in this tournament. Credit to him for going the distance with all three of his opponents, but uh, it just wasn't there. There's the punch the kick, so not, uh, kick. not a marker off balance, but as he came in, he took a kick to the side of the head for his pains. Not a marker had recovered. So we'll go through the formality of the, the scoring. Das muss ja alles sein. Das ist eine der schwierigsten Fragen für die Juristen. Das ist eine der schwierigsten Fragen für die Und hoffe ich, je nachdem auch das offizielle Ergebnis. Ich glaube, Marco landet mehr Telling Shots in den ersten 30 Sekunden, als Ross Marlin in den ganzen Contest. Aber er ist jung, er ist 19 Jahre alt. Matthias Holtmann. Er hat eine Chance, zu gehen und zu lernen. 
Achtung, alle Informationen in der Hand. So far, he's got a long way to go. He's, he's got it. Well, no surprises there. Klaus 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 What do you think, Ronan? Nonemarker and Thompson shared the points. Ferris Derris must fancy his chances of getting something at the expense of Adrian Thompson. And he needs a win. He has two points. Thompson has three. But only a win will do for the Greek. He'll certainly have the crowd on his side. Adrian Thompson hasn't got too many friends in this audience. From Manchester, he's a cool customer, Thompson. But having a hostile crowd isn't going to affect his performance, I'm sure of that. So this will de decide one of the semi-final places. Adrian Thompson, who we're looking at now, is in pole position. He's got the inside track. He's got his three points. Can this man, Gorgios Peristeris, pull off a bit of an upset? It's a good man's first man, could it? Certainly uh, fought well against Ross Marlin, but as we've seen, Ross Marlin really not in the same class as the rest of the opponents. The Wolf face. William Storm. Gleich geht's los. So, the final fight from the first pool of fighters. The second pool of fighters, of course, uh, Costa Paralitis. Uh, so things are much more clear-cut as far as progressing to the semi-finals of the group. But here it's all on the line for these two. But here it's not serious, but that he doesn't take on the turn. And that's why the Kämpfer out. Jedenfalls die, die er zu bestreiten hätte. Low kicks there from Thompson. Thompson's low kicking has improved as this tournament's gone on. It's now become a pretty significant factor in his fighting. That's a good straight leg. Good start this for the Manchester man. Perhaps attack here. Well, the local hero is getting cheered. But he's not winning. Not so far. That was a very crude rush from Thompson, and Thompson parried most of those shots, scored on the counter as well, and has established an early mastery here in this first round. And it'll only go two, remember. Thompson, the aggressor here. Thompson with the aggressor in the other kicks. And well, he's really pushing forward, but he's just taking some punishments, taking some good counter punches from Thompson. And Thompson must be very happy with his work so far. And the shots he makes in the punches to the jaw with those low kicks. And the Thompson left hand becoming a factor now as well. Thompson's leading left is keeping Peris Deris at bay. You see now the Greek more or less backpedaling constantly. And when he does come forward, he's getting picked off. Well, plenty of action in that first round, and uh, Peris Deris had one or two moments, but a lot of his efforts was wasted. Thompson really picked him apart. Well, I don't think uh, Adrian should be resting on his laurels just yet. This guy is tough. There we see punches coming in, and they're all getting cheered wildly, but uh, it's really landing. It's out of range. Nothing wrong with that kick. Let me see the two following punches. One missed, one was taken on the glove, one over the top, another one missing. No damage done there. So you see four punches going in, and none of them landing, you know there's something wrong. But when Thompson counter-punched, he did so with effect, and his low kick is certainly becoming a little bit of a menace. So on my card, Adrian Thompson just one round away from claiming his place in the semi-finals. 
but don't underestimate this fella. Gerne gesehen hätte ich Costa Padolitis. Padolitis gegen Arian Johnson. He's four seconds tactically, technically. And then he's going to as tough as they come. Zack, that's a nice shot. Just losing his balance there. Schön aufwärts zu von Johnson. Zu geben, Padolitis. Found his way into the rings. Into the rings, but that's... War kein so, Grund für Thompson nicht weiter zu boxen. Ein Delay, das really won't do either man any particular favor at all. Der ist hier in der langen Roten und das resumed. Thompson hat weiß nicht, ja, für uns. That was a right hand there. That forced Harris Harris back. Thompson's work is certainly very crisp and authoritative at the moment. Ferris Doris was moving into it admittedly, but it just took the legs from under him. And this low kick really becoming a factor now in Thompson's work. So this is Ferris Doris getting these about in kicks and lifts. The high kick is less successful so far. Stick to the low stuff, Adrian. this he must be behind on points and he must know it on a low kick you saw Paris Doris wince as he felt that low kick coming in his left leg's going to be pretty sore in the morning and Thompson finishes with a good high kick and on my card Certainly did enough to win that one and claim his place in the semi-finals. And I think you can see the reaction from Paris Doris in the blue corner on the left-hand side of your screen there. He knows it as well. There is his head. He knows he hasn't done enough. Adrian Thompson, a good winner there on my card anyway, as we just see how the fight ended. With a good high kick going up to the side of the head. And I think Adrian Thompson can be thinking about... And perhaps a tougher contest in the semi-final while George Jos Peristeris. Well, I think he faces elimination here, but we'll see. Thompson's the winner on my card. Peristeris does not look happy. Let's see how Thompson has indeed got it. George Jos Peristeris goes out. Some of the locals are booing. Peristeris, popular local hero, but no question there. A good winner is Adrian Thompson from Manchester. for the final contest in this opening and, uh, series of fights. And here comes the last round. We've got a little bit of luxury. This is kind of black uh, Dutchman. He's going up against Ivan uh, Shalia and, uh, from uh, France. They both know they're already through to the semi-finals. The first of the victories over poor old Norman Mayer and then the retirement because of the eye problems for Costa Padulitis. So these two already through to the semi-finals. I wonder if they're going to take it easy on the strength of that when they know it's going to be a little bit tougher. And they've got to go up against the likes of Adrian Thompson, Klaus Nonnenmacher in the semi-final. Can't imagine this guy taking anything easy somehow, can you, Kenneth Plack? But is a wildly old campaigner. In der ersten Gruppe, das steht bereits fest, Adrian Thompson und Klaus Nonnenmacher die ersten beiden Plätze gemeinsam belegt. Sie sind towering over his rival. Gleich. He's towered over everybody in this tournament. And already 
we're seeing evidence of Taylor's defensive skills, and there we see a bit of evidence of his attacking down. skills as well. Black down heavily. Here's a man who's not going to mess around. Black's going to do well to beat this count. He's up at seven. Oh, he's he's his eyes are clear, his legs look clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first real long one of this tournament and, uh, so far. Who'd have believed it? Georgios Perez Teres. Black is his beer has been so icy so far. Yeah, Franzosi, yeah. Then I go with Swan, get to the room. We are from the Dorado Fabian Camp. Another right hand done for Black. Black unable to take these right hands. Black is in line. And I asked the one that got Swan. Almost immediately, but getting an eight count this time. And uh, they need to uh, test it up, uh, Kenneth Black here, with the Frenchman's punching Sam power when he lands. Some has an come to ambos, the field's in. It's a left hand that time, and it's the right hand that's lost from Chalia. That's had a devastating effect on his opponent twice now already, and we're just inside the first round still. The right hand comes in again, and you can see Black pacing out, getting pushed around the side of the head there. And now his legs are wobbly for the first time. Takes another one. Can that black kick to really ganz gehörig an auf den Ost? And you wonder what this is going to take uh, out of Kenneth Clark going into the semi-finals. I think both uh, Thompson and Nonnenbach will be hoping that they draw Kenneth Clark's name. Möglicherweise holt sich Kenneth Clark ja wieder. Is he facing Chaley on that before? Well, no question whatsoever about the winner of that round. Keine Sekunde zu früh für ihn. Chaley in emphatic form there. Man sieht, dass die Energie, die wir in diesen kurzen Kämpfen verbraucht wird, hier auch verfordert ist. Zack. Der große Überhand, right, und alles ging aus. Der erste Schlag, der traf, der Kenneth Clark hier. Voll in die Länge schlägt. Er hat sich über die bottom rope und ich dachte, er wäre ein Gönner, aber er ist tough. Er hat keine gewisse Rede, die ihm hier der Richter hielt. Er hat tatsächlich gezielt. Er hat keine Lust, keine Fass auf ihn. Er hat nur Wire und Muskeln und Muskeln. Er hat keine Sorge, die Blicke in der Ecke des Holländers. Es gibt nichts, das keine Sorge oder Pain oder Punch ist. Lass uns mal ein bisschen mehr Aktion da sehen. Schau die rechte Hand. Zack! Wenn es landet, dann ist es noch ein bisschen mehr Bock. Aber er hat nicht die nächsten Schläge, kam automatisch, obwohl Plack bereits im Fallen gegeben hat. Aber es ist nicht, und es sieht nicht wirklich aus, als ob Chalier so ein schwerer Puncher ist. Das ist einfach leicht zu sagen, von der sicheren Seite der Rüste, natürlich. Auf, weiter, komm, ja, in der Tat. Aber ich denke, beide Thompson und Nonnenmark werden das sehen und schauen ihre Lippen in Antizipation. The two rounds. They might have to get some blood. He's going to have to use a little bit of special here. And Sykes, no, he's only with me. My discretion may be the better part of valor. He's going into the semi-finals, win or lose. It's going to be lose if he carries on like this. You'd think he might want to save himself the semis, but no evidence of that so far. He's mixing up his work, still putting in plenty of low kicks as well. Black can never be quite sure what's coming. Black just moving backwards as that spinning kick landed. The Gegner comes through. And that can psychologically be the reason. Celia had to hear Black and Echo on the way to Los Mansico. It's time for a mood, is it? Kenneth Black. Celia had to be settling down a little bit in this second round. And he still stood in our track for the opponent. He really did take it far too easily in the first round. He's keeping his left hand a lot more than carrying that right hand on his gloves, which is what he needs to do. He's on our Celia. He's been hit twice, and he's gone down twice. He needs to stop that Chalia right hand. His cornerman a little anxious, making themselves heard. This is 
he's certainly better work from Clark. A much more sensible round from him, but uh, no way he could have redressed the balance well, there. I don't think there's any uh, question. Shalia uh, 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 would have picked up two more points on that one. So that brings the first round contest to a close. We're going to see an exhibition show from Cynthia Rothrock, the first lady of this contest that's well worth waiting for, I can assure you. But, uh, both these men go through the semi final. Australia should go through with another win under his belt. I'll wait and get the official verdict. But Cynthia Rothrock's act really is a little bit special. If you haven't caught it before, then uh, you're in for a treat. Star of the world, of course. Celia, decision on this. Anschluss brachte, hatten diesen einen Treffer voll ausgeglichen. Nun, wir werden sehen, was die Punktrichter aus all dem gemacht haben. Wir werden sehen, was die Punktrichter aus all dem gemacht haben. Adrian äh, Thompson, es dürfte eigentlich äh, Klaus Nonnenmacher, so a good quality final four. Yvonne Celia, positives oh, Ergebnis sein, jedenfalls, wenn die Punktrichter. Well, his aura of invincibility was certainly uh, dented by Chalia in that opening round and he did well to survive a draw and uh, that's Chalia's arm that's raised everybody in the movie and there's no question about that and uh, and Chalia affords himself a little smile and gets a warm round of applause so clear the decks here comes Cindy Rockcroft and now we're at the end of the kickboxer the lots earlier on uh, she can do a lot more than that, as we're about to find out in a couple of yeah. moments. I've been First of all, let's Thompson remind ourselves of who's through to the semi-finals from Pool 1. It's Thompson and England, and the in Clark, the Dutchman, the Dutchman is going to be and, uh, his Celia. opponent. And Charlie are not over here. Here's Cindy. Of Cynthia. Going through her stuff. Then I'll tell you where the name, first of all. Series of martial yeah, arts movies there, all yeah, that low on. budget stuff. Started out in Yes, Madam. Yes, I didn't see it either. And she went on and made appearances in such films as Shanghai Express and Above the Law and Magic Crystal and Blonde Fury, Raging Thunder and City Cops, all of them in Hong Kong. Made a couple of quid for herself. Originally from Los Angeles, and she was spotted by somebody who works for Sylvester Stallone's organization. And she was invited to make a big screen debut in the United States in a movie that you've definitely heard of if you follow martial arts at all, China O'Brien. She also appeared in China O'Brien too, and uh, more recently has had hits with other films in the genre, Fast Getaway, Martial Law, and she now lives in Los Angeles. Once a month column for the magazine Inside Kung Fu, and very much in demand for personal appearances. Not only is she hard as nails, she's very good looking and extremely articulate as well, and does a nice little stage show. Let's sit back and watch Cindy Rothrock in action. That's the other one. Now we're Das ist nicht ganz ernst. Tja, so einfach geht das mir auch nicht mit so einer Dame. Da kann man sich schon ganz schön vergucken. Das hat er Kopfschmerzen. So, jetzt aber ran an die Bulle. So, so kann man dann etwas luftig. <lacht> so, schon aufpassen. Ist das alles? Jetzt das Finale. So kann man sich täuschen. Oh. Das ist ein bisschen die schlimmste Stelle gewesen. Cynthia Rothrock. 
Letzten Kampf der Vorrunde. Und Adrian Thompson, der die Füße sind geschützt. Seinen Gegnern bisher schon sehr ordentlich. Vollkontaktrate. Feuer und mit Low Kicks. Den Bein gemacht hat. Ein starker Puncher. Ein Unser Kickboxen hier. Das Arthur Mann. Heute Abend ist hervorragende. Das erfahren sich also hier eine explosive Halbfinalbegegnung an. Zwischen dem Holländer und dem Briten. Edwin Thompson in der weißen Hose. Kenneth Plark in der roten. Kenneth Plark, der große Mann mit den reichweiten Vorteilen. Edwin Thompson, der Mann. Plark starting off fast. Thompson perhaps looking to land a couple of quick right hands. those low kicks coming in from Thompson. We've seen more and more of Thompson's low kicking work as this tournament has progressed. There's a very long, lazy right hand there that I think just shook up Plark a little bit there. He was quite happy to hold on. There as well. Referee. <laughs> Versuchen, Aaron Thompson zu stoppen. Jedenfalls die gerufenen Hinweise von oh, Thompson. Really just having a little, little bit of trouble with this fellow's style. He really is an awkward character. If you crowd him, he falls over. Also natürlich kein Niederschlag. Thompson really being kept at range here. Fighting much more sensibly, he, I think he's learned his lesson from that opening round against uh, Chalio when he just thought he could just wade straight in. That's all he had to do to win. He's realized that uh, they're getting a little bit tougher now. Uh, he's going to have to change his strategy if he wants to stay alive in this main round. He's in trouble here. A couple of right hands getting through from Thompson. Looking just a little bit weary there at the end of that opening session, which I gave to Thompson. A good start. He made a good finish as well. Just went a little bit quiet in the middle round, in the middle minute there of that uh, opening round. But Thompson, I think, doing just about enough to win. So does look a little bit vulnerable. <laughs> Kenneth Plark in der roten, Adrian Thompson in der weißen Hose, das erste Halbfinale in diesem so far, he's yet to take a backward Turnier step in this tournament. In Sindelfing, die am 11. Mai. Very aggressive, but not Start stupidly so. Thinks about what he's doing. And I think his low kick is really the most effective shot that's been landed consistently by, well, any of the fighters in this round-robin tournament so far. Bei mir hat Thompson die erste Runde gewonnen, wenn gleich auch 
Bad box to a little bit of the sounds out there. Awry with his range there. Hard to take the box to have made his ass come under. The semi final just gone a little bit flat. It promised a lot, but uh, the crowd are not into it. And these two guys perhaps are feeling a little bit tired. This is a sudden death fight, of course. If you lose here, you're out. The winner makes it all the way through to the final, and the legs have gone from Pluck again. There was a delayed reaction as the big right, first there. of all, as a following so left. Pluck skated it back across the ropes. But recovered his composure in plenty of time. But you get the feeling that one good, solid, straight shot from Thompson could end this one. He's having trouble landing it. Very, very messy inside. Thompson landing again, and nothing cleanly going in there at the end of the second round. And the fuses had to hear by some of the big heads. They get of applause for their performances, but Clark looked very subdued there. He was certainly hurt in his previous fight against Jamie. A little bit cautious there, Thompson. Thompson didn't entirely dominate the contest by any stretch of the imagination, but the better work certainly came from him. Let's just take a look there. So we see a couple of shots coming through, but a lot of those punches. That one landed the little left there. But a lot of it was very, very wild and messy. As we await the verdict. Clark in the second. Very sporting. Make the decision. Getting the Masters again. Having a laugh and a joke. Good to see. Adrian Thompson, which is always the way you like to see it after the game has sounded, of course. Now then, we'll be smiling when this decision gets Thompson on the right, Clark on the left. And it's Thompson. Thompson from Manchester has made his way through to the final. Clark, I think, knew it. He certainly smiled. I know this say, yeah, you got it, you did enough. And now we have Thompson on his way to the final. He will meet either Ivan Chalia from Nîmes in France, who looked spectacular in his last contest against Kenneth Clark. Entering the ring now. The tail on the tape on him. You must know that by heart by now. Don Marker really has looked very accomplished throughout this fight. Two wins and a draw so far. And his preliminaries, the draw, of course, with Thompson. There really wasn't a lot between those two. I wonder if they're going to meet again in the final. Stage just about set then for Donald Marker from Germany against Chalia from France in the second semi final of this eight man kickboxing tournament from Sindelfingen. Stuttgart in Germany, shown exclusively here on Screen Sport. That's Chalia, impassive as ever. Hardly the uh, archetypal physique. Time not seeing a lot of these two men, really. But uh, Marker gets the first blow in. Very good with his, with his feet. In particular, we saw him uh, shoving Adrian Thompson over when he was off balance. And Chalia's no mug either. Both experienced. Chalia, six years the senior, of course. This one could be a cracker. Good inside kick there from Donald Marker. 
we saw Nonamaka going through the motions in his last fight. It's a poor old Dutchman. Brilliant with a smile in. Well, so you won't be able to go through the motions here. Oh, that Frenchman is tough. He's looking to land the right hand that uh, really did the damage. I kick for den Weg aus dem Ring. Schlagstark und gefährlich. Er hat sich Adrian Thompson sehr adept an getting himself all tangled up when things are getting a bit rough. Let's just review some of the action there. Die akrobatische Leistung von Klaus Nonnenmarker keeping this man at bay, but temporarily. Er ist sehr ruhig und assured, und ich denke, Klaus Nonnenmarker knows he has a real fight on his hands here in this second round. It's really still all to play for, of course. Und weiter geht's die zweite Runde in diesem zweiten Halbfinale. Und nach einer schwarzen Hose ist hier die eine schwarze Hose. Schöne Öffnung von Nonnacher. Drei Kicks gezählt. Vier. Celia responds with a couple of solid front kicks. Really getting involved here. Australia with a with a spinner that misses. We're trading low kicks now. Not a marker. I think has been told he's trailing after that first round. He needs to pour it on here in the second. He's going to make it through the final. No question of this. Very different semi-finals than the first one. Clark really seemed more intent on survival after being shaken up by Australia. Major Thompson going through. More aggression than anything else. He wanted it more. Clark, I think it had enough. These two men, though, they both want it. Place in the final at stake. Man, man, I think France is going to see if there's two P actors in the fight. Yeah, France is a hot and cold. We go again. Off the hinterkopf. Es geht ihm da das Haar aus. to hold. Australia not happy about it. Well, I don't think this crowd is overly impressed with the uh, Nolan Marker. Really, some very, very active stuff in there. Too much of it having a devastating effect. Let's see who's gone through to the final. My money is on the man on the left, Chalia. Not by a lot. Eine knappe, aber nichtsdestoweniger deutliche Aussage von den Schiedsrichtern. 
2 zu 1 Punkte für die rote Ecke. Welcome back. The stage so is set for the grand final. Finale. Eight men started out the contest. Ah, so it's just too late. It's one of them from Manchester. Adrian Thompson. Adrian Thompson. Thompson mitgebracht, so eine if the extra round will swing it. sozusagen und die wurde in favor of one man or the other gespielt. as we see Thompson. Thompson looking a little bit tense ja for the first time. So the final, Thompson three rounds, two minutes duration, gets underway. Diesmal gibt es drei Runden nach zwei Minuten, das Finale eine Runde länger und damit haben beide Kämpfer hier insgesamt elf, insgesamt elf Runden zu absolvieren, falls es kein vorzeitiges Ende ist. Thompson really seems to have grown in confidence as this uh, tournament has progressed. Looked very controlled in his semi final against Clark. Was this medium knee? Well, we're getting used to these interruptions now, but that's uh, off. Hans, beim Tanz mit dem Knie. I think there's going to be so a word of warning there. For Thompson. Yeah. Ringricht auf jeden Fall. Wieder ein schöner Kick. Also ja. die Decke. Well, we see the familiar side of Nonnen Marker up against the right. Füße von Thompson. Macht sich wieder deutlich bemerkbar. Die Länge der Auseinandersetzung, die zahlreichen Kämpfe, die zahlreichen Runden. Man ist nicht mehr sehr frisch. Really doing so big labors because he's making Thompson the aggressor, and if this one is as close as their last fight, then maybe the judges will award it in favor of the aggressor. And at the moment, that is Thompson. One of the best kickbox veranstaltungen bisher in Deutschland. Ausgefallenes System, dieses Turniersystem. Eine sehr lobenswerte Art und Weise, den Besten zu ermitteln. Ich bin ein Einzelkämpfer, das ist ein wenig ein Handschütz für den dass das Band locker. Und Lothar Hirner, also den Promoter, den Mayashi Mann in Deutschland, gewöhnt hier großes Lob. Es war ein hervorragender Abend. Viel Unterhaltung, viele Gute Einlagen. The opening round then scheduled for three. Und, uh, man kann nur hoffen, dass sich uh, eine solche Veranstaltung in nächster Zeit wieder machen lässt. Eine bunte Sache, eine unterhaltsame Sache, ein schöner Abend. Und die Begeisterung des Publikums bei dieser Veranstaltung war nur zu begründet. Wenn ich da war, dann muss warten bis zum nächsten Mal. Ja, auf jeden Fall eine hervorragende Veranstaltung versetzt. End of the first round, lots of action. Difficult to separate the two of them. Maybe he was the advantage for Thompson. He didn't saw this in their first contest. Neither man really able to establish any kind of superiority on his opponent for any degree of time. We just look at a couple of the moments there from the opening round. A little bit of joy for Nonnenmacher, but no sooner would one get a decent shot in than the other would come right back. They really are very evenly matched indeed. That's three rounds they fought now, two in the opening contest and uh, the first one here of this best of three rounds final. And there's been 
very little to choose between them throughout the contest. Now, which man can find something a little bit extra as we go into this second round? Scheduled for three, of course, unlike all our other preliminary contests. They all just went two rounds. This one's going the extra round. I wonder if that's going to have an effect. Round two on the way, then. Perhaps we'll see more of that Thompson low kick in this round. Not really a factor in the fight so far. Good look at him, and the official unimpressed. He's giving him an eight count. Norman was looking for a foul shot. Hit round the back of the head. Well, now what's happening? Thompson's looking confused. Well, I think having given Norman Marker a sterling eight count, I think he may now be deducting a point from Adrian Thompson. The ring richter has the point case, that is nonsense. Well, I have no idea what happened there. But if it was an illegal shot, then why the eight counts? If it wasn't an illegal shot, then why the eight counts? A mystery. Again, Thompson's balance ball into question. And when it gets rough, Nonnenmacher hits the ropes. With that punch, where there seems to be a standing eight count, there's the shot. And you can see a very theatrical performance from Nonan Marker. Edwin Thompson gegen Klaus Did Thompson lose a point? And if he did, why did Nonan Marker get a standing eight count? I think only perhaps the official in the middle there can answer that question. But, uh, it does seem as if Adrian Thompson is getting ahead here as they go into the third and final round. Technique in that time. I think uh, uh, that look was a little bit more of a slip, but Thompson did land a good right hand before then, and he's gone straight in on the attack. I think he realizes that he's hurt his man. And Donald Martin oh, is going backwards now, no question about it. Thompson getting stronger and stronger as this fight progresses. This is smart work now from the Englishman, the low kicks. Oh, the terrible things for fighters' mobility. Those low shots to the legs. Thompson's got the wind in his sails now. Oh, and the the work such as it is, is coming from the man from Manchester. Another marker is holding, spoiling, crowding. He's not doing an awful lot of work now. Just lunging into Thompson there. Buying time, getting a breather. <laughs> Left foot there, all time ball by Nolan Marker. Nolan Marker, 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 that it's impossible to see how he can be uh, impressing the judges. I think Thompson's done enough in this round alone to claim it. He's certainly won round two for me, barring 